सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली The biggest news media story of the year gone by is Pranoy and Radhika Roy walking away from NDTV as the new owner the Adani group walked in. Their dignified parting note is a fine insight into how they have approached their journalism and also if I may say so professional interactions. In the highly strung world of news television their calm is a rarity. As this epoch in Indian journalism ends it nudges me to look at my own interactions with the roys over more than 3 decades from the day pranoy came to india today with his idea of an opinion poll for the 1984 general election radhika then worked with us at india today as its news coordinator the pivot of the newsroom tv happened with the roys in the following 5 years as it did with india today group In my preceding job as the Northeast correspondent for the Indian Express, Radhika worked on the news desk at the Express. We knew each other though only remotely, and she was the only one. So I remembered her gratefully also because she was the only one on the Express news desk willing to take down my late-breaking stories from the insurgency hit region, the Northeast. Usually about ambushes and encounter. Some of the other veterans would, would say, "Arey, yar, kya farak padta hai? Story chhap jayegi, tumhari promotion nahi hogi." नहीं छपेगी तो मुझे कोई निकालेगा नहीं वॉट डिफरेंस डज इट मेक वैदर द स्टोरी गोज और नॉट इफ इट गोज यू वॉन्ट गेट ए प्रोमोशन और ए रेस इफ इट डजेंट आई विल नॉट लूज एनी ऑफ माई सैलरी सो इन दैट सिनिकल एनवायरमेंट शी वॉज देयर एट द अदर एंड एंड शी वॉज द वन आई कूड रीच आउट टू माई कैमरा टाइम ग्रो एंटायरली विद एन डी टी वी ओवर थ्री डेकेट्स दैट स्टोरी इज द बेस्ट वे फॉर मी टू गिव यू एन इनसाइट इन टू द फिनमिन ऑफ द रॉयज एंड एन डी टी वी हेर इज हाउ इट बिगैन for a died in the newsprint hack like me television was always a matter of exotic curiosity my first few experiences with the medium were patchy and i am being kind to myself the first ever oddly was live for pranoy roy then then anchoring from dd studio in the summer of 1988 national politics could scald you faster than allahabad's 49 degree temperature so hot was national politics VP Singh had just led a post Bofors rebellion against Rajiv Gandhi resigned from the cabinet and was fighting for re-election against the Congress party this set the stage for Rajiv Gandhi's defeat and VP Singh's ascent as an unlikely prime minister mercifully for a short innings i was in allahabad covering that election for india today pranoy was anchoring the election results coverage for dd and asked if i could do a couple of pieces to camera or p2cs as these are called for him live from elabad as counting progress he said reassuringly it would be a breeze i said of course it sure will be only to learn my first and most essential lesson about tv news that things will go wrong particularly when you are live and you are entirely on your own when you are live with nobody to hold your hand nobody to edit your copy fact check rewrite or even erase a really bad mistake you must think on your feet or act like the proverbial tube light blink glow stutter glow like that which is how i responded to my first crisis on camera live remember this was 1988 technology there was no talk back in my ear no production control live with the ob man in alabad on that night with the burning heat wave still sweeping the plains in fact even at night as we recorded this there was really hot low blowing i stood holding a mic with the ob behind me staring at a tiny black and white tv placed on a stool in front auto cue i was told had failed so i had to keep my eyes on the tv which showed live coverage and start speaking the moment my figure or my face appeared on the screen you know now what i mean by tube light effect 
Pranoy never reminded me of that disaster. Even when I recounted it to him self-deprecatingly, he would say that's how old times were. This happened to everybody. For me, TV was almost forgotten after this, except occasionally when, when Madhu Trehan, who was then bringing out News Track, the video magazine at India Today Group. So except when she asked me to substitute for her co-anchor at News Track, Raghav Behel, yes, now of Quint, Raghav Behel, if he was on leave. Madhu struggled to fix my hopelessly Desi Hindi medium accent, but continued to be optimistic. She even sent a TV crew with me and photographer Prashant Panjiyar when we went to cover the first Afghan Jihad in 1993. I thought Afghanistan had taught me now to do TV news, so why not? I know how to do this. So I went back to the Royce to meet Pranoy and Radhika to ask if I could do something with them. By this time, NDTV was running Star News. They said, look, we think you are not ready for TV as yet. So what do I need to do to get ready? I asked, obviously somewhat deflated. Nothing, Pranay said. We will know when you are ready and we will let you know. Much as I would have preferred to forget that evening in the Greater Kailash apartment, I really can't. And for very good reason. I had arrived a little bit early and had dogs named Logo and Graphic for company. The dining table was set with six napkins as probably the Roy's were expecting dinner guests afterwards after I left. As the Roy's arrived, the dogs in excitement ran to the table, stealing one napkin after the other and piling them neatly at the Roy's feet. The meticulously set dining table had been devastated. See, who wouldn't cherish such a brilliant dog moment, even on an evening when you were told you weren't good enough for something you really wanted to do. It was done calmly clinically and with dignity. In the course of time, one thing I learned from the Roy's, with limited success of course, was how to say no without ambiguity and quote-unquote nicely. Pranay called a couple of years later and I later figured out why he now thought I was ready for TV. I had started writing my weekly column National Interest, which is what you are hearing from me right now. And he now thought that I had become sufficiently serious voice, a sufficiently serious voice to opinionate once a week on a new show called Nationwide, where the anchor read the headlines and asked a pundit sitting there for judgment on each headline story. So I had to be that pundit once a week. It was sort of formal, I was told. And so I bought some ties. I learned to do the single knot from a do-it-yourself DIY pamphlet. I was never good at it. But I, and also, I felt suffocated, distracted, and the camera misses nothing. I got a rare, short sermon from Pranay. Remember, he said, you may be feeling awful about something. You may be sick, aching, irritated by the anchor's questions. The viewer doesn't know, nor does the viewer care. Do not display this on your face. Never. The idea of walk the talk grew from that admonition. My excuse for my constipated when will this be over gaze at the camera was the tie, the lights, the makeup. When the Roy's launched NDTV in 2003 and asked if I do a weekly talk show, my one suggestion was outdoors, no makeup, without a tie and probably with my sleeves rolled up. Thus evolved the idea of an informal but well-informed conversation between grown-ups. That was Walk the Talk. It lasted more than 15 years, featured almost 600 guests and ended once the print developed its own video properties, including Cut the Clutter and Off the Cuff, in which I play a role. Through 15 years of Walk the Talk, I was never told to interview somebody, usko interview karlo, very important for us, or not to interview somebody, don't interview so and so, we don't like him or her, or what to ask and what not to. Most importantly, I wasn't even confronted with that dreaded thing called analytics or TRPs. It was a show by appointment that carried on uninterrupted. So thank you Radhika and Pranoy. You turned this TV disaster into a long surviving anchor. You are very patient. NDTV under the Roy's weathered many storms. None harder than to avoid trivialization, the respect for facts and to discuss not to shout. The NDTV record book is deservedly filled with awards and accomplishments. None of these is as gratifying as the success in maintaining dignity in the newsroom and in the studio, have respect for facts and the sense not to pitch a story higher than its intrinsic value. 
it isn't easy. But as the Roy's have shown, it's the best equity in this messed up news bazaar. It's with this satisfaction that the Roy's must walk away, leaving NDTV in new hands. And before I let you go, let me also tell you that two books that NDTV produced, that is, that is on Walk the Talk, uh, on Walk the Talk, it's called Walk the Talk, Decoding Politicians. And also, more news is good news. This was produced on the 25th anniversary of NDTV. This was produced later. I have contributed chapters to each one of these. In fact, if you read the introduction from this, you might even find some passages looking familiar because I have borrowed from there, from my own writing for this column today, for this farewell tribute today.